Many customers find that they save money when they have a water meter fitted. More often than not, the job is done without the customer having the opportunity to see how much hard work goes on underground to make it happen. The water company is always looking at innovative ways to be more efficient and minimise the inconvenience to the customer. Traditional methods are often still the best to use. As we arrive to the job, um, we uh, fill out the risk assessment. Um, we set up the uh, signs to make sure everything's safe. We let the customer know that we have arrived and we're going to be working on her asset, her pipe, in this case fitting a meter. So we dig down, try to locate the pipe. We then clean it up with chlorine. So we were going to install a stop tap plus meter. We froze the pipe, cleaned it with chlorine, make sure everything's nice and clean, cut the pipe, installed the box, waited for it to defrost, flushed it through. After we flushed it through, um, we then installed it on the customer side and then put the meter in obviously, turned it on and uh, to make sure everything's working okay and there's no other leaks further underneath the property. Then after that, we backfilled with the material we took out, which was good enough to go back in and then put the stone in type one. And then we whacked it with a compressor. We then mixed up the concrete, put the concrete in so it's Good finish with it. Ask the customer if they're happy with it. One priority is make sure they are very clean um, where the work area that we've been. So to make sure. On a good job, nine times out of ten, it usually does take um, around about an hour and a half or so. A new technique of meter fitting has now been developed. It does away with the need to dig, and afterwards there are no signs on the surface that the job's been done. Use of the special adapter saves time and money for both the customer and the water company. Turn up on site, put your barriers up, have a look at the stop tap. If it's full of soil, first of all, clean it all out. Once you've cleaned it out, you'll be able to see whether the stop tap is right in the middle, then it's the perfect position for the adapter. Also, you ideally want it at an arm's length. The next stage is to use your claw to crack it so that you get some of that water coming through, seeping through the, 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 the head of the stop tap. You can then use your next piece of kit, which will sit onto the top of the stop tap. You can then lock it in place and then use that to carefully undo the guts of the tap until you feel it pop. And once you've got that pop, you know you can then take your stop tap out and then measure what size it is. Uh, once you know what your measurement is, you can then choose the right adapter for it, get the right size, fit it to the stop tap, and once it goes on the stop tap, stand pipe, so that you can take the water away from, from when it's flooding. Push that in, once you get that, your stop tap adapter it will lock into place, and then you'll have water come out of the hose. As soon as you've got water out of the hose, you know that you're in there. and you can then tighten up your adapter. It's certainly uh, an added tool for us to use. Um, well, if everything goes okay, usually about 15, 20 minutes. It certainly helps to reduce disruption to the uh, customer. Yeah. And many people find that they save money and water by having a meter fitted. Customers can work out how much they might save from a free meter fitting using the calculator on the website.